Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is the Pick a Card Empress, and welcome to another Pick a Card reading. So today, what we're going to look at is what is their best friend thinking and feeling about you? Okay. So power one, you have the Telema Tarot. Beep beep beep. Power two, you have the Sawyer's Path Tarot. Neep, neep, neep. I don't know why I'm making that song, sorry. <laughs> and power three, you have the Tarot Mucha. I've not used this deck as yet. I actually got it yesterday, so it's going to be new. I've consecrated it, the deck and everything already. So if you want, you can pause the video if you need to use a pendulum. And whatever system that you have uh, for choosing your deck, and I'll be with you guys in a minute. Okay, guys. Okay, power one, if you chose a Tilly Mataro, this is your reading, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna put that there. Let's give this a bit of a shuffle here. I'm gonna find out what does their best friend, what is their best friend thinking and feeling about you, okay? Or oh, the best friend looks like he's undecided. They're undecided. <laughs> we have the two of swords. Anyway, first of all, what we're going to do, we're going to get a little significator for the best friend. Let's see if we can tap into the energy. See what they're about because maybe this friend, this best friend could be a frenemy. Who knows? But let's let, let's get a card. Let's get a significator. And we're just going to look at his energy a bit. Look at their energy. What am I saying here? Their energy a bit here. A significator. All right. So we have this. Aclopus, I think. Healing. Okay. What am I getting from this? This breast friend could be a healer. Um, could be somebody who's empathic. Um, they could be healing their own issues right now. Or they could be in need of healing. I am also um, being drawn to the snake here. Now, the snake, snakes could be about deception, but snakes are also about transformation and this snake is also green so it could be hard transformation now it could be saying it could be a message from the best friend saying that your person is healing their heart space or they're helping your person heal their heart um let me let me get a card on this so what's the message here with this okay we have the two of wands here uh, yeah, and you see, we got the two of swords underneath the deck. So, quite frankly, um, the, this best friend is undecided about you. And the reason why they're undecided is because this best friend has not embarked on their own healing journey. Okay? They're kind of in a position of woundedness and in need of healing themselves. So, we have to bear that in mind. I don't think this person here... Is a fan of love either all right so we have to bear this in mind when we are getting the cards from the tarot all right because this is their prejudice this is their bias this person is unhealed unawakened they're in need of healing themselves and they're not too much up about love and that's why they're undecided about you this is what i'm getting here Okay, so let us bear this in mind when we're getting the cards from the tarot on how they feel. Okay, so we have that healing card here. And let's just pull about three cards from this emotional intelligence deck and see what we can unearth here. Because this looks like an interesting character. I I'm getting that this is a, f uh, it's either a frenemy or someone who is quite immature and unhealed just we have to remember this person is operating out of their woundedness okay we have to remember that in this reading let's get three of these we have relieved so this this best friend is relieved about something we have frustrated these are strong words for a best friend so i don't know if this is a best friend scorn and we have fearful avoid and this is some weird energies for a best friend so this could be a best friend that might be in love with your person but bearing in mind this is a best friend 
who is also wounded in need of healing and does not particularly believe in love. All right, so why are they relieved? Interesting cards. All righty. So we have here a six of cups. Why are they relieved? Um, they could be feeling some kind of soulmate energy with your person. They could be thinking that this is a soulmate connection. Um, they might know that your person wants some kind of reconciliation here um, with the six of cups. But we have the nine of pentacles in reverse. You know, this is a card of codependency. This is a strange um, combination for our best friend. Let, let's get one more card here. Why would they be really? They're relieved that your person is with a third party. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. They're relieved that your person is with a third party. They are well aware that your person shares a soulmate connection with you. They are well aware that your person wants reconciliation, but for some reason, they are also quite relieved that your person is not single. I'm not getting that your person is single. Whoever chose power one, your person is not single. They have a third party and they're absolutely relieved that your person is choosing to stay there for the moment. I think they know that your person wants to walk away. But they're relieved that your person is there in this third party situation. What a weird thing. Let's 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 clarify the other cards. Why are they frustrated? <clears throat> Listen. This best friend is in love with your person because they want to invest in this in in your person. How strange this is. How strange is this? They don't want your person to accept your cup of love. They don't want the truth to come out. They're not seeing things clearly. Okay, this this best friend that we're picking up on, um, they are in love with your person. It's there, it's there are frenemy, or they are someone. They they're someone that want they want to be with your person. Either they want to be with your person, or they want your person to stay with a third party. And we have scorn. Yeah, they're scornful of of this DF. Whoever is watching this, they're scornful of this, this empress. They're very scornful of this idea of a soulmate, of a divine love. And they're really fearing that your person is going to leave a third party for you. But if they're just a friend, why would they give? And they're fearful that this person that you're interested in is going to leave some kind of committed situation and come towards you. So this best friend, quite frankly, could be a karmic energy that is with your person, a third party that your person is with, or someone that is in love with your person. Because I don't see why they're so invested in your connection. Why do they care? Sorry about that, guys. It's Carnival, my country. So everybody's blasting their music, okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, they're really fe they're fearing that your person is going to leave. This is just absolutely strange. Guys, you have to give me feedback on this power one. Um, this is just crazy. All right, anyway. What's the headspace where you're concerned? <clears throat> we have the Page of Cups. They don't like you. <laughs> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy in reverse. Good God, what is this? We have the star. Okay, I, I sense a lot of jealousy here. I'm Aquarius energy. We have the fool. Aries energy. And we have the moon reverse. Cancer Pisces energy. So when this person thinks about you, thinks about this connection with your person, um, they don't like you. They don't like you. They don't want your person to come towards you, make you any, any, any kind of love offers or anything like that. 
I don't think they even want your person to talk to you, right? And it's all from a place of envy because they view you as a star. You are an absolute star and you are shining and they don't like it. They don't like it. I think they also know that your person wants to take a leap of faith with you and they don't like that either. I'm also getting that this person, um, they're not using their intuition and I think that there's a lot that's hidden beneath the surface for this best friend. Um, they are not acting in your person's best interest. They have a lot invested that is unknown. I find for a best friend, they're very emotional about this whole situation. There's something that they're not saying. And my voice is kind of going now. So this person has something um, that they are hiding in this situation. And it's like they're sabotaging your connection from the inside. They're doing a, they're doing a hatchet job. So that's what they think about you. What are they feeling? We have temperance. Sagittarian energy. We have the three of wands. And the three of wands reverse is the same frustrated. That's my card for frustration. What is this? Sorry, guys. What the hell? I'm sorry. We have the four of wands in reverse. And the king of swords. I'm sorry, guys. So they, they, they see you as quite balanced, quite stable, quite steady. But at the same time, they're absolutely frustrated by the situation. I don't know why, right? They think that your person is going to um, leave some kind of other situation um, in order to be with you. They see your person as, you know, kind of gearing themselves up to speak their truth and being their authentic self. And for some reason, it bothers this person. So let's get some clarifiers on this because this is like, this is a strange best friend. And I think this is a friend of me. This is a friend of me. Yeah, they're getting first. Listen, this is either a frenemy, someone that is in love with your person, or this could be the third party or comment coming through here because this is someone they're getting frustrated because they have abandonment issues and they don't want your person to leave them out in the cold. They want to take some kind of action here. Look, this magician and the magician, he's all about taking control. That's a control freak. And they're willing to do everything in their toolbox to make sure that you guys don't get to the stable place of being. This is just so weird. Yeah, they're afraid of change and transformation. They think that you've come in and you've changed everything. Look, under the deck, the world coming to an end. Their world is coming to an end. Some kind of commitment is coming to an end because you came into this person's life. And they're not pleased about that. Why is this king of swords here? Yeah, they know that your person is coming out of hermit mode and is about to speak their truth. And they don't like that. They prefer to be, you know, all, all caught up in an illusion here with this high, high priestess in reverse. There's some kind of secret that this best friend knows. I don't know what the hell is going on. It's like, where this thing ever? This best friend, it looks like um, your person has been some kind of provider, protector energy over them. And they're afraid that if you come into the picture, they're going to lose that. They're going to lose their position. They are very threatened by you. This best friend is very threatened by you. And I think because they are, they have been sabotaging this connection from the inside. So no power one, there is a friend in me that's working behind the scenes um, to undo your connection. What is their issue? Let's ask Spirit. I'm only asking this for this part. What, does it, what the hell is their issue? Spirit, give us two cards. What's their issue? It's there again. They want to invest in your person. That's why. 
there could be some kind of financial investment as well and they're afraid that your person's going to walk away we keep getting back the same cards they're afraid that your person is going to walk away well best friend as you're here and we're in your energy what's happening in the viewers um, person's life what's happening I'm not even sure if we can trust you. But what's happening? In three cards. We have pathway. It looks like your person's getting the strength to go, go down a different path. We have marriage. So for this power one, you could be dealing with someone who's married or in some kind of high level commitment. And we have house. So let's clarify these cards and get the messages. Spirit, what, why did you give us this pathway card? Yeah. All right. So it looks like your person wants to come forward with some kind of passionate message, but they're gearing up themselves and building up their strength um, to do so because they want to come towards you, um, the Queen of Cups. Spirit, why did you tell us this marriage card? Yeah, I'm really getting that your person might be married on some kind of high level commitment and there either is some kind of sneakiness going on or your person is strategizing on how they can sneak away or walk away from this connection. They are at a crossroads and they're trying to make a decision, um, but they already know that they need to release it because it's one of the things that's not serving them. Okay, tell us about this house spirit. Why did you, why'd you give us this? all right so they want to take action okay now houses usually represent people right so there's some kind of action that they want to take in their life um they want to move on i think their life has been at a total standstill a stalemate and they want to move on out of the some kind of family situation and they recognize that the only way that they can do that is if they come forward and speak their truth we have this king of swords here again so knowing all these things this best friend apparently she's on the side of the third party or she or he want they want to invest in a situation with your person or they might have invested in some kind of situation with your person um they're very emotionally invested it seems and they are sabotaging your connection um from the inside so i'm just letting you know okay give me the feedback i'm sure you know who it is okay so what does spirit need you to do what do you need to do I will tell you what to do. If you know who this person is, the next time you do your meditation, your prayers, um, just ask the light to encircle them in a bubble, a bubble of protection so that they can't have any effect um, on your connection. Okay? Spirit, what does viewer need to do? What's the advice? The advice is... <laughs> Spirit saying it's all true. What I just told you, it's all true. Yes, what you are asking about is the truth. Okay? So everything I said before, Spirit is giving confirmation. It's all true, power one. Let's get another card for advice for you, though. <laughs> yep, it, it, it's all true. You got a friend in me. Oh, gosh, you, you've gotten so much advice here. But I'm going to take the one that came out that way. Okay? Let's see. Okay. Spirit saying best friends. True best friends stick together no matter what. So I'm getting that, you know, this best friend might have st stuck through your person through thick and thin. And they might have envisioned that their whole life they would be attached to your person. But now I think your connection is really threatening um, their, their relationship. And they're not having it. Let me pull a card on that. Yes. Yeah, they're, they're interfering in your connection. They are the third party. They are the third party. Um, it's very unfair. We have the Six of Pentacles here, but know that they will get their karma for interfering. But they're interfering because they want to invest in their connection. They want to invest in um, your person or there is some kind of investment that they have together. And if this person goes towards you, that investment, it looks like it's going to fall apart. Okay, they're very protective over the connection that they have um, with your person. You will tell me who it is. Okay, all right. So, power one, 
Um, if you chose part one, that was a reading. I really hope it helped you because you have a friend in me that's sabotaging your connection. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Take care, guys. And don't forget to sub the channel, okay? Bye. Hey, pal, too. If you chose the Sawyer's Path Tarot, why didn't I pack this away? <clears throat> maybe because you need to watch part one as well, maybe. <laughs> if you watch, if you decide on part two, this is your reading. I'll be using the Sawyer's Path Tarot. Okay. And I'm just going to give it a quick shuffle. And then we're going to see um, what the hell is this doing here? High Priestess here. Okay. So it looks like somebody has some kind of secrets or somebody's using the High Priestess power. All right. We're going to see what that means. We're going to bear that in mind though. <clears throat> oh, crap. Okay. So it looks like it got mixed up from another deck. What is this? We have Strength. We have the high priestess, we have strength, and we have death. All right, so that's powerful energies because look, it's all major arcana. So it looks like your person, it looks like they're listening to their intuition, they're stepping into their spiritual strength and they're going through some sort of death and rebirth process. Let me just make sure there are no other cards in this deck to disrupt this reading. Okay, but well, we're gonna keep those in mind though. So, in this pile, there's big shifts happening. Big shifts happening with your person. So let's see what the best friend thinks about that. And I knew it. I knew it. And the card underneath is a strength card. So most significant in this is Leo. We have a Scorpio. Um, we have Scorpio Pisces. And I also read it as Taurus Virgo because of the attributes. So this could definitely be um, a Leo that we're tapping into. But either way, it's someone who's about to step into their spiritual strength and power. Let's get a significator um, for the best friend. Oh, sorry. Power One had a crazy ass reading about this best friend that was sabotaging the connection. So let's see what this one is all about. Okay. <clears throat> so maybe we have a significator for the pile too. Okay. All right. So this best friend has secrets. <laughs> Good Lord. So there's secrets here. <clears throat> so this best friend can know secrets about your person. Um, but what's the significance of that? All best friends have se no secrets. Okay. What is that? Are they secret lovers? What is this? All right. So this best friend knows um, a thing that your person was a player. We have this Knight of Wands here. Okay. <clears throat> this best friend also knows that your person might be looking to take some kind of passionate action. Um, this per this best friend probably knows that um, your person may not have been giving you solid offers in the past. This person also knows that your person wants to make things right between you guys. And that they want to be some kind of provider, protector for you. But it looks like all of this um, is a secret. Okay? All of this is a secret. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. It's carnival in my country and... These guys keep passing up and down, blasting the music. But this could be significant because maybe your person is hearing songs that remind them of you. Okay, so anyway, um, this best friend is holding a lot of secrets for your person. I think they know that your person is about to make some sort of move um, towards you. And all of this is a secret. So I'm thinking maybe there's a third party that's involved here. All right, let's see um, the best friend's energy. Because we'll know for sure um, if we're dealing with a frenemy or, or an ally. <laughs> Alright, so this best friend feels isolated. Interesting. They feel isolated. They feel alone. They're operating in their shadow self. How weird is that? We're going to clarify. But we've been getting some weird cards. I mean, good lord, part one was a mess. They're feeling vengeful.
So this reading is about what the best friend thinks, not what the karmic thinks, because this sounds like karmic. And then self-defeatist. How weird is that? Alrighty, so let, let's go into this. Unless the best friend is their, uh, their significant other. But there's some weird emotions for a best friend, isn't it? But why, why is this best friend feeling isolated? Okay, they're, they're having some kind of epiphany. What's this epiphany? Right. It looks like they're recognizing that your person isn't... What is this? They're feeling defeated for some reason. They're feeling defeated... They're feeling wounded. Why? They're feeling frustrated. All right, so you guys have to watch pile one. I'm getting more frenemy vibes from this. They feel like if they lost their lover. All right, so this is another best friend that's in love with your person. What the hell is going on? Why are we tapping into all of them tonight? Yeah. Yeah. And they're, they're in mental anguish. So they know what your person plans, the actions they plan to take to work, to move towards you. But they're also in mental anguish because they seem to be in love with your person. This is crazy. Why are they operating in shadow self? Look, five of cups, they're grieving. So it maybe there's a third party in your connection. And maybe the third party was also their best friend. And now they know that this person plans to move towards you and they're grieving. Or this can be an actual best friend where they're friends only. And maybe they've had a secret crush on your person for the longest while. Your person has no idea. And hearing of, um, about your person's plans, they're here. And this five, this I mean, five of cups is grief. Yeah, I think they were so optimistic, you know, that things might be going somewhere. And then, bam, your person decided to manifest a new beginning for themselves. And this has them in an absolute tizzy. Why are they feeling vengeful? All right, so pile two, you have to watch pile one because I'm getting the same vibes. Yeah, they know your friend is at a cross, your, your person is at a crossroads here. Okay? And they don't want your person to speak their truth. They, they are strategizing. They are planning to take some kind of action. <clears throat> For some reason, this best friend is concerned about money why why are they concerned about money because queen of pentacles in reverse is someone who's very concerned about the material world could be someone who's concerned about their image as well what is this guys what kind of weirdness have you all got me into Ace of Pentacles. They want a solid new beginning with your person. What the hell? They thought that your person would come towards them and they didn't. They envisioned a future with your person that was very grounded, very solid, and very um, financially abundant, and it just never happened. And the music comes again. Good God. What's a self-defeatist card? Yeah, they don't want the cycle to end. They don't want to say, and, and I'm noticing how um, both of these cards, the world, um, the world came out um, sideways and the nine of cups came out sideways. They feel like their whole world is turned upside down. And they are very codependent cool, on your person for some reason or the other. And they feel like they're going to lose your person. So it looks like they're kind of trying to sabotage your connection from the inside. I got this same message with power one to power two. 
you need to watch Power One. What the hell? So in this person's headspace, when they think about you, think about your person's connection with you. Where's the head at? We have this exact card came out in Power One. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. Abandonment issues. They feel abandoned. Which is a weird energy for a best friend, right? We have the Two of Swords. Same thing with Power One. We have the Three of Pentacles. And we have the Magician. Same thing with Power One. I think they know that your person is about to manifest a new beginning for themselves. And that your person intends... Um, to establish something firm, something solid, something strong with you with this um, three of pentacles here. But they are under seated. They're in mental anguish. They're feeling very conflicted because they feel left out in the cold. They feel like you are a threat to their relationship with your person. They see you as a threat. They feel like if you guys get together, they will be abandoned. I'm also getting maybe at some point in time, they thought they might have been the one to build something strong with your person. And they still want to manifest that. And they're not above using manipulation um, to do so. So that's what they're thinking. What are they feeling regarding you? We have a six of pentacles. They think that this is just so unfair. What kind of friendship is this? Wow. The thing's just so unfair. Ten of Pentacles. Scorpio energy with that death card and the Six of Cups. So they are well aware that this is a soulmate connection um, that you share with your person and that your person wants to reconcile um, with you. They see your person going through massive changes, a big transformation, and they see the transformation that's happening within you both. They know that you are your person's total wish fulfillment with this Ten of Pentacles. They know that your person sees this generational wealth and happiness with you, and they think it's absolutely so unfair because they think it should be them. I think there's someone that's never expressed their emotions to your person. They've always kept it secret. Yeah. They've always kept it secret. They've never said anything because my voice is going. They've always kept it secret. But now when they realize that your person's making a move towards you and they're going to come towards you, all these shadow aspects start popping up. Wow. Um, in pile number two's person's life right now, as you see it. What's happening? Can you tell us in three cards what's happening? <clears throat> we have male and female. We have child. And we have courthouse. All right. So, let's clarify because there's something that's happening with the main person in your person's life. Or it could be that they know that your person intends to make you the main female or the main male or their partner. And that they want to have children with you. And that there's some kind of <clears throat> judgment or judgment call that your person might be wanting to make right now. Okay, let's clarify and see what this is all about. Why did you why did you show us this main female? What's what's this about? S Seven of Pentacles. So there's someone else that's in your person's life, and your person no longer wants to invest in that connection. Okay, the passion has died. We have this Knight of Wands in reverse. All right. So the, your person, I'm I'm getting there's a third party situation. Okay, besides the best friend. Or it could be the best friend is the third party. You take it as it resonates, right? So this person, your person is no longer investing in this person that was their, their, their intimate partner, their counterpart. 
um i don't know if it could be a mother figure um but there's someone that was interfering they're no longer invested in that relationship the passion has died there but i do see this thing with a child now it is a card number 18 and 18 is all about the moon and the moon's about shadow work so your person could be doing inner child work right now or there could be a child either on the way or a, the consideration of the, the child a child is being considered um in your person's um decision making let's see what this is about okay yeah so it looks like somebody is making a judgment call i think they're doing a lot of inner child work because it looks like there was something in their past or something in their childhood was that was skewing their vision and made them very unreliable in relationships and only concerned about finances in relationships and it's just it's a it's some kind of baggage from the past so they're dealing with that right now so your person's doing inner childhood that's what i'm getting here right uh, but they're about to speak their truth definitely um um listen to pile two pile one because um this king of swords came out twice yeah they, your person's not happy they're not happy um in their environment is only conflict and mind games and they're absolutely tired of it so right now they're about to make a judgment call for their life some of them might be heading to court could be for a divorce um, but there's something big that's happening here yeah um they're codependent right now but it looks like they want to be single right they're having a mini tower moment they no longer want to fight for this home this connection um they want to make a choice um in love here and end some sort of um karmic cycle in their life they want the wheel to turn in their favor okay all right so what's spirit's advice for pal number two all right so you have a best friend there bent on revenge because they feel abandoned by your person they know that your person wants to come towards you the best friend has told us that big changes are happening in your person's life it looks like they're leaving out some kind of karmic energy to come towards you <clears throat> let's see what's the advice from spirit spirit what's the advice okay you got two cards definitely yes the answer to your questions are strong yes all right so this tells me what for me this is a confirmation that everything i said before is true okay definitely yes okay um with a friend of me with the secrets everything that i said is true so we have that confirmation and then we have here very soon what you're asking for will happen soon in a happy way so if you've been manifesting this connection know that the sun's about to rise on your situation and everything that was in the dark will come into the light and will be illuminated all you need is have a little patience but know that there's someone else in the background besides the third party because i do think there's a third party that does that don't and they don't want to see um your connection um come together okay so you just have to be aware of that okay pal two so that was your reading i really hope it helped you um guys give me feedback let me see if you guys know who this person is but for some of you guys it's it's the, it's a person that they're with right now is trying to do the, all this kind of crap okay okay pal two take care and don't forget to sub the channel okay okay bye hey pal three welcome to your reading so if you chose the taramukta um this is your reading first time i'm using this deck so i may pause in between to see the cards but it's a lovely deck okay all right so i want to apologize in advance because um it's carnival time in my country well the the real carnival happens next week but it's like months of celebration and people are passing up and down with up uh, their music just blasting so you may hear music i have no control under the deck what's this fourth pentacles in reverse yeah that's what it looks like what is it yeah 
Yes, the Four of Pentacles. No, this is the Emperor. Right, the Emperor in reverse. So somebody's not standing in their power. All right, let's see. We'll see how that goes. All right, so um, the first thing we're going to do is get a significator um, for this best friend that's coming through. Now, the first two pals um, that we did before yours, um, we had some sabotaging best friends. <laughs> okay, some saboteurs. Working beneath the surface to undermine your connection. So let's see if this is different. All right, let's let's see what's. Spirit, maybe have a significator for pile three. All right, so what we have here? Cosmic order. What is this about? Themis. Why would this best friend be in this energy of cosmic order? Hmm. Maybe they're helping to restore cosmic order, divine order. They could be under divine judgment. I'm going to pull a card and see what that's all about. Spirit, tell us about this best friend. And why is this Cosmic Order card here? Alright, so we see this. They're hard at work. But they're sad. Why are they sad? They tr it's like they're trying to drown themselves in work. They feel betrayed. They feel betrayed. Or maybe they betrayed your person and that's why they're under divine judgment right now. Yeah, it looks like they betrayed their, your person. Yes. They betrayed your person. That's what I'm getting. And right now they're under divine judgment. They might have been responsible for your person walking away from your connection in the past. Or they could also know that your person's trying to work up the courage um, to come towards you. And they're helping them do that. Or they could be instrumental in your person learning some kind of spiritual lesson. But this is someone who's unhealed. Listen, I think this is someone that might have betrayed your person in the past. And might have been responsible um, for... Your person may be walking away from you or not taking you seriously um, in the past. That's what I'm getting here. You know what? Let me read what's this co what this cosmic order is all about. Let me see this. Because I think that's going to be the key to unlocking what this is all about. It's Themis, right? All right. Let's, let's see what it's about. Famous. God, don't tell me you don't have a, con a content page. Good Lord. And of course they don't. They Of course they don't have a content page. Why would they? <laughs> Famous. Okay. Alright. Cosmic Order. This is natural justice, exactly, divine order. If you've drawn this card, then you can be assured that the matter in hand is being overseen by Themis and divine law. And it will help you by ensuring that good karma, justice, and the correct order of things will prevail. Yeah, th this this best friend is under divine order right now. It could be that they are trying to ensure that natural justice prevails. Or it could be that they're reaping um, karma for having betrayed your person in the past. Okay, so let's get into um, their emotions and we'll really see what side they're on. Because um, this is that's a strange card for a best friend, right? For a best friend to be under divine judgment. But I'm getting that this is someone... 
Yeah, this person's embarrassed. Look. I think they, 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 they betrayed your person. Or maybe they might have tried to sabotage this connection in some sort. But we also have lust. Okay, so this could be somebody um, that might have wanted your person for themselves. If that is the case, then you have to watch part one and two. <laughs> because it's the same energy. It is the same energy here. All right, let's get four cards for how they're feeling. Because it's going to tell us. All right, this person's motivated. They're feeling annoyed. They're feeling isolated. Listen, this is just like pal, pal two had isolated. Let's get another card. And they're feeling envious. I really do think this person tried to sabotage your connection. So why are they motivated? We have this King of Wands reverse. This is about someone abusing their authority. What is this about? They want to transform some sort of situation. Let me see what this is. I think they're interested in the death of your connection because there is something, some cycle that they're involved in with your person and they don't want that cycle to die. They don't want your person to transform. They want their world to remain as is. And I think they're absolutely annoyed that you've come along and you've changed things. Now, it could be um, this person. Now the king of wands in reverse he's a philanderer okay and it could be that your this person wants this person wants your person to remain like this because they could have been buddies you know i'm um, running the route carousing sorry guys sorry about that guys that was very annoying yeah so they could have been you no know, like party friends together um hanging out you know just you know carousing and that kind of stuff and then suddenly they want to come and settle down and make the solid offer they're not having it they don't want um the cycle to end that's what i'm getting here i think they're absolutely annoyed that you came along yeah because your person's releasing the things that no longer serve them which might be old habits and this really frustrates this person Yeah, I think they don't have anyone that they love in their life. I don't think this person even believes in love. Okay? I think they believe in cold, hard investment, cold, hard cash. And they're absolutely annoyed that your person is changing. They think that it's absolutely unfair. And they feel isolated because your person has changed all their ideologies and their behaviors. Um, and they just, they feel so alone. They feel so abandoned. It's like you're the third wheel in their connection. In their friendship. And they're not happy about that. <laughs> Just as I said it. They're not happy about that at all. And they're envious of the connection that you guys have. Yes. They're, just, they're thinking about it hard. They're trying to get a higher perspective on things. They are seeing the truth. They know that this is love. But for them, it's just a burdensome situation because they're losing, they feel like they're losing their best friend. They're not too happy at all. So when they think about you and think about your connection with your person, um, where's, where's, where's their mind at? Where's their head at? We have the, th the Ten of Wands in reverse. They feel absolutely burdened by this. They can't even see the way forward. Let's get the other cards out. So we have the Ten of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. And that's in reverse. We have the Strength card, Leo energy. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And we have temperance. 
I think this person just feels absolutely unlucky, right? They just feel like it's unlucky. They don't want the cycle to end. They want things to remain the same. They want your person to hold back on their emotions. They want your person to be stoic, to be strong. And the fact that your person, you know, wants to come forward and, you know, be in some kind of connection with you really annoys them. It's, it's, it's a real burden for them because they really do feel like they're losing their best friend. And they just want things to remain in balance like it was before. They want things to remain the same with this temperance card. They don't want things to change. This person hates change. How do they feel about you? Emotions. They're undecided. They're here in the Two of Swords. Or they could be very conflicted. I think they want to see your person happy. But at the same time, um, they resent the intrusion. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. And that's it's exactly as I, I was saying. Um, we have the Five of Pentacles. Exactly as I was saying. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And we have... What is this? The King of Wands. So they're really conflicted. Um, I think they want your person to be happy. They really do. And they know that your person really cares about you. But they don't want to lose their best friend. They don't want your person to manifest a new beginning. Because they feel like they're going to be left out. Look at the Five of Pentacles here. They feel like they're going to be left out. They feel left out already. They're in absolute anguish. They feel left out already. They feel like um, the door is shut on their relationship and their friendship will never be the same. So they're here. They're strategizing. What can they do to ensure that this wheel does not turn in your person's favor? So I'm sensing a more pl pl platonic energy here. Even though we did see that peep that lost card. I am seeing a pl more platonic energy here. They just feel like they're losing that special bond. Um, with their best friend because this person now has a special bond with you and they feel like your person just has just flushed them down the toilet that's how they feel okay best friend best friend what's happening in the viewers person's life right now let's ask let's ask the best friend what's happening in the viewers person's life right now Tell us in three cards. What's happening? Okay, so we have marriage here. Some of you can maybe get additional messages from Pal too, okay? Because that card came out. We have sudden wealth. And we have 16. So just on the surface, without clarification, I think there's definitely a third party in your person's life. I'm going to clarify and see why Spirit gave us this marriage card. I think your person is in some kind of high-level commitment. Here, I think um, your person might have, you know, hit some kind of jackpot, come into some sort of money here. Or it could be that they, they went into this third party and they sold out your connection for uh, material gain. Or they could be that they're just finally seeing the value in you. You might be their twin, their twin flame. And they're finally feeling like this, they've hit the jackpot where you're concerned and they want to take action. But it looks like they're thinking about you all the time. And this is a card number 16. That's a tower moment. So it looks like this person's just recognizing the deep emotions that they have for you. But they're here in this commitment. All right, so let's clarify. All right, so your person's made a decision with regard to um, someone that they might be committed with. I think they no longer have any emotions for this person. There's no longer any tender emotions or love there, and your person isn't happy. So it looks like they've made um, a decision to... 
um, no longer give to the situation, no longer give time, energy, or resources um, to that situation. Okay, let's see the sudden wealth card. Yeah, I think they're recognizing their own value and they're realizing that if they are to get their nine of cups, um, they need to walk away. They need to leave behind all the things that don't serve them, including um, this other person here. And it might be a marriage that they're walking away from. We have the Hierophant. But this is a spiritual lesson that they had to learn. How to love themselves enough to go towards their own happiness. Okay? I think they might have hooked up with this person for material gain. But it looks like there's some kind of divorce that's going on right now. Um, because Ten of Pentacles is my divorce card. It is a card of breakup. And it could be um, they may have to actually pay out money um, to this person in order to buy um, their freedom. But they're thinking about you all the time. Even the best friend admits that. They're thinking about you all the time and they want to make things right. Um, they want to bring balance back into your situation. The only reason that the only thing that's holding them back is they have a lot of insecurities um, surrounding the rejection. Okay? This person has serious rejection, but they see you as this queen of pentacles, someone who's abundant, who's nurturing, who's understanding. And they're hoping that when they come back, because this person is coming back, um, that you will forgive them and that you will embrace them. Okay. So, um, Spirit, what is the advice for Pile 3? So, we see here this is a kind of more platonic relationship um, than Pile 2 on Pile 1. But it is a best friend that is feeling threatened um, by a close connection. Um, are they threatened enough to sabotage it? Um... I'm not getting that. I'm not getting that. They may. I think they might have tried in the past and now they're receiving their karma for it. But right now, I don't I don't see that. I think they're just feeling alone and they, they, they just feel a sense of loss. That's what I'm getting here. Um, thankful. Think about the people and things that you feel grateful for. So Spirit wants you to have a sense of gratitude because as you find things to be thankful for, Spirit is going to bring more things into your life for you to be thankful for. So basically, Spirit is saying you can manifest this connection. Okay? Just think about what you're grateful for and Spirit is going to bring more abundance into your life. That's one. But this also tells me that, you know, even though this person may have aired in the past it's it's only because um they felt threatened i don't think they had anything personal against you i think they just wanted to maintain that connection that deep bond that they had with your person and i think they may have panicked when this the intensity of your connection um came in and spirit is saying forgive it's time to let go of anger or blame. So Spirit is saying this person's going to come back and you have to be in a state of readiness um, to receive that person. And to do that, you, you it's, not, it's not a matter of waiting for them to confess in order for you to forgive. I think you need to forgive and then this person comes in. You, you have to clear your energy of that anger or resentment. And that, that's, that's what's going to call in your person, okay? Um... You have to pr approach it from the viewpoint that, you know, everything happened as it should. It, it was it was all cosmic order. It was all about divine order. Okay? It was all about divine order. Whatever happened in this connection was supposed to happen. And it was supposed to happen to make you guys grateful. And for you to recognize how special you guys were in each other's lives. And for, and for both of you. Um, to grow so now is a time of forgiveness okay okay pal three that was your reading um i hope that it resonated for you um i would love it if you guys would like share the video and if you sub the channel that would be absolutely amazing okay guys take care bye